Today we're removing the front door panel from a Chrysler Sebring. With our small flathead screwdriver, we're going to gently pry the panel up from down inside the handhold area. This panel releases and will hinge open to give access to two mounting screws at the uh, bottom of this opening. We're going to remove the two screws from this opening to release the door panel from the door. Uh, along the bottom of the armrest or handhold area, at the very back, there's a small opening with another hidden screw along the top of this panel. We're going to remove this screw. And with our pry bar, we're going to gently pry along the edge of the control panel, releasing clips. Again, these clips release with pry pressure. This will allow you to pull the panel up out of the opening and access the connectors on the back. These connectors all have triggers on them that you squeeze down to release the lock and then they can wiggle loose. They are also keyed so they fit back to one specific spot. There's no need to label them. With these connectors released, we can take the panel and set it to the side. At the uh, door open handle is another small panel and with our flathead screwdriver we're going to pry the top edge of this panel down. It again hinges open to give access to another screw. At the leading edge of the door panel, we're going to pry the small tab from the door. Sometimes there's a hidden screw there. With our pry bar, we're going to move up to the top of the panel and remove the small panel at the top of the door. This releases with pry pressure. Uh, check this panel. Be sure all the clips were removed with the panel. We're going to remove these clips and place them back on the panel so it'll be ready for installation and fit snugger when it goes back into place. With our pry bar, we're going to start at the back bottom edge of the door panel, prying the door panel from the door. This will release clips, and we're going to work our way across the bottom of this panel, up the front and rear edges, releasing these clips. With these clips released, you can grasp the bottom of the panel and pull it away from the door, while at the same time lifting the back edge of the panel up out of the door jamb. This will uh, allow the front edge to be released, and we're going to pull this panel slightly backwards to access the cable for the door open handle here. There is a small metal spring that we're going to lift up to release the locking mechanism for the cable. This will lift up and release, and we'll set this spring to the side. Next, we're going to take the small yellow piece here. This yellow piece locks the end of the cable in place, and we're going to push the edge of this around. It swings around. It has an opening on one side that allows you to swing this cable around to release it from the end of the cable from its opening. We're going to lift it up out of the opening to release the end of the cable. And then we're going to push or pull the cable slightly back. This will allow the locking mechanism that kept the cable in place to pull back and allow you to pass the cable up out of the slot in the mounting Remove the door panel, uh, check the door for any clips that may have been removed from the door panel, pry them from the door, and uh, place them back in the corresponding spots on the door panel. They usually lock right back into place. This speaker is secured by four screws. Not sure of the total depth on this one when replacing. Uh, see our website for speaker phasing and uh, installation. Hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe. And thank you for watching.